Ah, oh dear. Let me lower it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You know what's so crazy? Is that three years ago? Where's my freaking camera? Bro, my camera was just like working a second ago. There we go. Okay. As crazy as this is. This is my third year stream. Like, that's crazy. You know? April 15th, 2021. Um, I was doing practically nothing except helping in the house. I was bored outside in my backyard with my dog, Lassie, at the time. And I just decided to grab my laptop. And a camera and start streaming. Now I have a whole PC, mic, lighting. So it's a, it's a little weird. That's crazy. Now I'm in Vegas, living with my best friend. Yep, that's that's life. Okay, so I've been doing, you know, some offline Honkai where I do like these missions and I leave the Trailblaze missions for you guys. But yeah, I put makeup on and everything. I realized like, you know, makeup expires. And my brain fully forgets that it does. So I probably have to buy some new makeup. But we're going to look through the messages. I saved the messages for you guys too. So Natasha. Sorry to bother you, Anjanette. I haven't quite got the hang of this little thing yet. You come down to the clinic when you have time. I have some personal things that I want to talk to you about. No problem. I'll come now. I'll probably do this all day. offline. Thank you, Internet. When you're leading an organization like Wildfire, it's easy to forget that everyone needs some someone to rely on. Thanks for having me have this feeling again. Ooh, I could do that one too. Wildfire official. Promotion. Tomorrow, Wildfire will host an auction near the vagrant camp on the outskirts of the robot settlement. Everyone in the underworld is invited. Buyers and vendors, please register with your real name prior to the auction. If you want to know more, talk to our team members at the Boulder Town's new office. Ooh, more stuff to do. Arlen, thanks for your help in uncovering the conspirator. I would like to thank you on behalf of Asta. Leave the rest to me. Harda didn't punish Asta, did she? <laughs> Excuse me. You really don't understand Madame Harda, do you? She couldn't care less about trivial matters like this. This space station may be Madame Herta's property, but she didn't pay a single credit for its construction. Mr. Ask's family has ties to the IPC, so she's wealthy would be an underestimate. Understatement. Most of the faculties in the space station were essentially funded by her. 
So the cost of those things she purchased was practically nothing for her, really. Have you decided on what to do with Richard? I don't think you want to know the details. In any case, I have to thank you for helping Miss Asta with this incident. Imagine which color do you think suits me better, blue or gray? As a friend, please choose based on your first impression. I like gray. Blue. Hehe, <laughs> I know blue suits me. It seems we have the same fashion sense. I'm going to buy a new pair of training shoes, so I'm asking for your opinion as a friend. I'll take a picture for you when you they arrive. Give him back the phone. <laughs> eh? You got me. Don't I sound like Arlen? He added the message to you multiple times, but didn't send it. Sorry, Miss Asa just borrowed my phone. <laughs> I'm sorry to have bothered you. It won't happen again. I'll chat with you later. Miss Asa is starting to look for her payment in Christmas key. I can't let her find it. And Welts. Do you have a moment? I have a favor to ask. Okay, Miss Yang. Let's hear it. Do you know how to change your profile picture? Maybe try asking customer service. Uh, I can't find the customer service function either. What's up? Hi. No. Yeah. Anyway, happy three years. Ah! Thank you. Oh, ah! I died and I came back to life. To be like, where's the receipt at? Yeah, we, oh, asked, like, so Hi. we asked, like, yeah, I need a receipt because she took some electronical stuff too, oh, shit. right? But we can't return like anything electronical, uh, yeah, because like, it's already used. Not that, it's just the fact that we don't know if it's stolen, yeah. So it's oh. kind of like a hello, hi, can I take off my pants? There's please? too many dogs, hey, leave her alone. The stream will get some impeachment, you know, I know, but anyway, I was like, dude. What do I do? Because I really just need to speak on this. Speak. I was like, damn. Speak. Like, for real, Monday. It's like, it's Monday, guys. Speak. Just need to do this. Yeah, speak. But anyway, yeah. And then I was like, what do I do? Like, where's my, and they're like, just call someone up. Because I immediately recognized her. I was like, yeah. you are the same. Because at first I was like, oh, that's a lot of stuff. Yeah. Right? Um, last week. But I was like, I'm going to just leave it because, you know, it could be just a one-time thing. Yeah. Second time, though? Nah, no. fuck that, man. Crazy, crazy. I like this shirt so much. Yeah, oh it's more comfortable. God. It's so comfy. What? Other than the old job I work on. <laughs> Under the bed. No, it's not. Well, obviously, you can go under our bed. Yeah, literally. Yeah, and then you just take whatever. It's so tiny. Like, so like, like uh, this, right? Yeah. That little corner? So that's why they were like, just take these. He's around $50, right? And I was like. For a little tiny thing? I was like, he's 44 now. That's crazy. Yeah, and I was, because he's a new, he's a new. 
species. Oh. So like for yeah, like her, for she's Maylene, a new pet species too. She's tech yeah, technically she's still like a new pet species because um they started going into the pet species I think sixty years ago mm. because they're new Caledonia species. The species what listed or something? I listed the pet species. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, it happens. I was looking at the the ticker. Yeah. I, and I showed it to my mom, and she's like, "No, don't buy that. Don't like stop torturing." And I'm like, "It's not torturing. It's just the signal." Oh, good job. You got a ticket. You know, it doesn't hurt. It's basically what we do when we're walking. We're like, "Push all." Yeah. Things. Literally. Here, let me grab a bunch of those things. Awesome. I want to finish the game. Oh, yeah. Or people will come to me. I'm not going to do that. Guys, can you listen to me? Run. Run. I don't. change your profile picture to <laughs> oh this is the earliest version of the animation although the calendar here is different from the that of my hometown i have calculated that the anniversary of the premiere of harato is coming up soon i did so many takes to get my new profile picture ready for the anniversary but i never imagined that it's time for the express to have its own internal communication app. Indeed. <clears throat> well, it's another day today, Internet. When we step on the express and follow it in the footsteps of the nameless, it means that we will become accustomed to things that are not of the ordinary. We will push beyond your limits without even realizing it. And should I have you experienced anything like that before? Uh... I have suddenly started receiving many new assignments. I think that would be the right way. You can't count yourself. Damn. You can't count yourself as worthy of the nameless if you can't handle several mis assignments at the same time. Plan your route efficiently so you, that you won't run around the same circle twice. Otherwise, you'd just be doing extra work. Before you know it, you'll already have developed the mu muscle memory. <laughs> Sounds like your seasoned veteran. Uh, excuse me. The experience of the nameless is a but a lesson of sweat and blood. Okay. Oh, Madam Herta's parades her club. Jesus. An update on the rumors circulating in a certain anonymous chat group regarding the space station secret secret. Hashtag latest update. The rumor and circulation is false and untrue. Equipment purchase records and statement information have been probably disclosed to the relevant department in the IPC. The full reports of the investigation have been posted on the space station's personal internet, internal data center. With help offered by a certain volunteer, the said rumor has been determined to be false. The space station security center has dealt with the perpetrator of this false accusation in accordance with the regulations. Furthermore, we would like to urge all employees to remain alert to any unverified rumors and refrain from spreading them further so that th we can together build a positive social environment within the space station. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> uh, 
No, the procured little robot has been placed in the communal area. Please feel free to check it out. What did I say? You tried to maliciously defame a little girl and now you're not even going to apologize? Humanity regresses by the day. Like something out of a horror story, Richard underscore know-it-all is nowhere to be found in the station. In the space station anymore. Are you from the security department's monitoring room? She seems to have a lot of free time. Bill Portcullis left the group chat. I am robot. LOL, it's just plain funny to have someone like you lecture us when all you do is ride your moyo high horse and hide behind anonymy. If you're so good at being a keyboard warrior, why don't you show your staff card? Come on, let's take this offline. You're so philistine, such an ignoramus. M robot left the ch group chat. Hehe, <laughs> I see right through you, whoever you are. License with space driving was kicking group. Everyone while trying. <clears throat> Everyone while chatting here, please mind your manners and watch your words. Don't offend people, don't make bad jokes, and don't prefer others. And also, don't stick your nose into other people's sensitive issues and don't try to get to the bottom of them. When chatting here, everyone must take effort to hurt extra. La, 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 la. When chatting here, everyone must take effort, take extra effort to hurt people, make bad jokes, and provoke others. But we must dig deeply into other people's sensitive issues to find out the truth. Da, 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 da. We need to learn to be tolerant and considerate while communicating. If there is a different in opinion, don't fight out over it and don't act on impulse. We need to learn to be ruthless and re relentless while communicating. If there's a different opinion, different in opinion, do what your gut tells you. Never back off or back down and never admit defeat. Blocked. Blocked. Birdie the AM off. La Nut left the group. Da, da, da. Purple Shirley left the group chat. Um, looking at the chat history, all I see is just people fighting. Honestly, I'm not interested. Agreed. I'm leaving as well. Yeah, I'm leaving too. I can't take this. <sighs> you guys. Forget it. I'm getting too old for this. I'm out. People breaker, ginger spotted dove, private dating chat, hair maestro, and 66 others left the group chat. Well, I have no idea. There were so many people in this group chat. I remember you. Yep, yeah, come to think of it, I haven't formally thanked you for your help. You planned all of this? You give me too much credit. I just needed the help of the space station's big hero to settle some stuff that I couldn't intend to myself. Who are you? I think you know. Madame Herta's interior club has been disbanded by the owner. Ooh. Cheese man. Go back to Oh look, up ahead on the ground. What is that? Be careful. This is Bronyas. No, Bronya. We found it in the orphanage orphanage. Yeah, so she's she's been here already? It isn't them. <laughs> it must be a kind of echo. Some type of residual energy replicated by the fragmentum. Which means they were definitely here, right? And it looks like they went that way. <laughs> Just in time. We had no idea which direction to take. Let's go. I'm open this stuff first. We're deep inside the fragmentum. There could be hidden dangers lying in wait. 
Let's look for other clues first. Me. Objects that have been exposed to fragmentum corrosion might not be stable. I wouldn't touch that device if I were you. Let's see. We're deep inside the fragmentum. There could be hidden dangers lying in wait. Let's look for other clues first. a complex mechanism. How did they get past? Ah, I knew this wouldn't be simple. Oh, wait! Wasn't there some big energy hub-looking thing back in that empty area? Let's go back and take a look. Maybe it's linked to this gate. <sighs> I can't say I like the idea of interacting with our surroundings. Especially this deep into the Fragmentum. However... However, mm -hmm. however, there's no other way. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Facts. Huh. Even Don Hung the Sensible has his adventurous days. <laughs> it worked, right? Only for one of them. But the gate didn't move an inch. Are there other units around? Hmm. It's clear that whoever designed these mechanisms didn't want outsiders to get through too easily. Let's keep looking for the energy hub. We'll go this way. <clears throat> But I need the key for that one, huh? Yeah. And oh, this is the part Jeannie's on. But she's a little further in it. She was like asking me, how do I do this? I'm like, oh, Look, I'm not there yet. There. I think I can see the next unit. But I'm literally on it right oh, now. I see it too. Let's go. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Oh, 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 oh. Bro, usually I go to the bathroom before I start stream. But I did it. Rules are made to be broken. You couldn't have done it without me. I'll be right. I'm gonna just put this on auto. Let me just... <laughs> A gift from the stars. Couldn't have done it without me.
goodness. Activate all mechanisms. Huh? Finders keepers. Oh shit, hold the crash key. now or crash later. Crash later. Wait, I could have done them. Forty uh should we? Should we? I mean we should try. If you don't win, it's okay. Honestly, you'll be fine. At least you try. The sanctuary is but a vision. Make it by like a slim. <laughs> by a slim, like I said. There we go. I like doing puzzles. Oh, I have to relax. Keep at it. Like it. Hmm. Strange. Fragmentum monsters would usually destroy man made objects. Did you hear that? This mechanism must be on now. Mm. Come on, let's find the next one. 
Yeah. Where is the next mechanism? <laughs> oh, behind that gate. <sighs> Excuse me. There's no switch. We need to find a way around. <sighs> I've never seen such a desolate place. At least in Rivet Town, you could tell that people used to live there. Rivet Town is only at the outstretch. Is this fragmentum banana? I can't read that fast. Now West to get too, too close. I better check in with Missy Aang later. What is this Missy Aang? <clears throat> it appears to be a rift in space, torn open by the fragmentum as it erodes reality. The scientific name for this phenomenon is cavern of corrosion. No one knows for sure what kind of space that caverns are connected. However, research does indicate that valuable reality data is often scattered with these caverns. As with the calyxes, the derivatives of the fragmentum always carry unidentified risks. Please exercise extra caution if you wish to explore further. The automation flew away on its own. So I need one more. Success! Another mechanism shut down. I want to ask you a question. Yes. Ask away. Do you still remember those dreams you mentioned to us? Oh, yeah. I know you're wide awake right now, but I need you to try. See if you can recall the voice you heard. It's a male. Close eyes and meditate. You try to recall the dreams as your train of thought deepens. The voice comes to you. There was a voice calling out to Takuya. This is merely speculation, but perhaps the voice you heard is the Stellaron somehow conveying information to Kokolia, mm -hmm, and the mm -hmm, one in your mm -hmm. body is resonating with the Stellaron on this world. Huh? You mean that Stellarons can communicate? I've never heard that before. Well, there's never been a human that could accommodate a Stellaron in their body. True. The Stellarana has already warned Kakolia. Then, aren't we walking straight into a trap? Mm, yeah, precisely. <sighs> yes. And Branya may well be the bait. Don Hung's speculations are usually right on the money. Yeah. But even if we've guessed right, we can't go home now. <laughs> There's no way back anyway. At least Kokolia won't catch us off guard now. So what if it's an ambush? We're not about to lose now. I have to save Branya, beat Kokolia, and crush this Stellaron thing to dust. Ah. 
We just went in a circle. We're gonna go. To get on, then get on. Uh, is this right? If you want to get to the other side, we'll need to rotate the gear bridge again and go around. What was it? I did three. One. Two. Three. Go this way, then go on this one. Oh, oh, shoot. Sorry. Excuse me. The stars will always remember us. There we go. Done. It took some effort, but we finally cracked these mechanisms. We're one step closer to Branya. Yes. The fragmentum here seems to have made a special connection with Kokolia. It's repeatedly generating forms in her image. Entry posts? There must be. Looks like another completely new monster. Ooh. Considering where we are, it would be surprising if we didn't run into strange enemies here. I don't care how strange it is. It's blocking our way. Let's get it. There we go. I like to do with the weakness. It makes it more easier. Oh my god. Move carefully. The truth of life and death will be sanctuary. It's but a vision. Use my brain. Try that again. You can't run. Scared yet? Huh? My turn. Let's go. 
kill. Go. This enemy is completely different. I didn't know it was a product of the fragmentum. I think we were fighting a human. Were we? Unlike those random low level fragmentum creations, this one seems to have a mind of its own. Huh? Seems to be able to use complex tactics. Look, Branya and Kokolia's echoes. They must have come through here. The voice is getting clearer. Uh, that means we must be really close, right? <laughs> I sense that we're very near to the northern snow plains. Follow the instruction on the panel and confirm the exploration. Pa -pa 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 Three battles. Oh, she look, she reminds me of Bloom Sisters from me. I think I said that when I was watching. Jean. I'm a wanderer, for real. Remember us. Keep at it. Keep at it. Keep at it. <laughs> go, 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 go. Maybe to you guys next.
reach the end of the story in your own way. It's that shadow of hers again. But Branya's isn't with her this time. Branya, where'd you go? Feels like this echo is different from the others before. Intruders. Mm. Tell me not to not do something, good. then I really want to March. do something. Hop away. Intruders. You go no further. Uh, are you sure this isn't the real her? Rules I may look like her, but <laughs> bring her down. You're welcome. Move carefully. I don't remember inviting you. <laughs> A gift from the stars. You have the worst luck running into me. <sighs> Take this. You are doomed to fail. Clemency? Never heard of it. A guest with no manners, huh? Who's the lucky one today? The truth of life and death, revealed in this sanctuary, is but a vision! Everything is ordained by the stars. Oh, profound secrets of the stars! Give these trailblazers your blessing! Inviting you. Look out. My turn. With me out here, how can we lose? Let's go. A world devoured by ice. The eternal breeze will bury you. Step aside. I have no interest in stupidity. A guest with no manners, huh? Well, I'm clicking Rules one, right? are made to be broken. There we go. Defeat this sanctuary is but a vision. Take this. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. Mm, I feel like March is gonna probably die. Almost there, almost there, almost there. So this is I don't wanna be alone. Clemency? Never. I don't remember inviting you. Who's the lucky one today? Yes. Oh my goodness. Uh -huh. one go. She disappeared. 
stairs. It's the only way forward. Wherever they lead, it must be the end of the journey. I don't want to get to the end so soon. I want my journey to go on forever. Aww. This means that Branya is up ahead. And so is the fate of the overworld and the underworld. It's all in our hands. Ooh. <laughs> Strange. I thought I'd feel nervous or afraid, but I don't. The only feeling I have is that none of this seems real. Is this how true blazing expeditions usually come to an end? Not always. Sometimes it's a happier conclusion. The Express has traveled world after world. We are merely passing travelers. Witnesses to part of a grander story. Ooh. We invariably avoid getting drawn into turbulence that can decide the fate of a world. But there are always times when we have no choice but to act. Or to put it another way, this is one heck of a first trailblazing expedition. You hit the jackpot. Nice. I was about to bore you all with my gloomy reflections, but on second thought, not today. Adventuring no, with you guys today. by my side no, has made no, me no. feel like no obstacle is too big. Right on! But <gasps> you can say whatever you like. A good adventure shouldn't be full of rules and regulations. Helping those in need, befriending those worth counting on, and saving the world a few times along the way. This is the spirit of trailblazing. Woo! Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead without, you know, healing my people. Everwinter Hill. Uh, this mine is always my switch up trailblazer. Fire. Uh, uh. Okay. Ah, it's freezing here. The blizzard's so fierce. Now the power from the trailblaze path isn't enough to stop the cold. It means that we're getting closer to the Stellaron and the heart of the Eternal Freeze. Ooh. Spooky. W what is this? Oh, it's scary. It's a little it's like weird. An insect trapped in amber. I bet the antimatter legion forces never thought they'd be swallowed up by the eternal freeze when they invaded this world. Huh. Even in the ice. Could these guys still be alive? According to Captain America? Yes. This is how you were? I... I don't remember. It's a blank canvas. The frozen remains of biod rangers are scattered along the mountain path. Even the ruthless antimatter legion is helpless against the might of the internal breeze. The Void Ranger remains are preserved remarkably well in the ice. You can't help but wonder. Perhaps March 7th is right. Either way, you think that it's best not to unfreeze them. Did the architects build this? Ooh. Hmm. Very different from the uniform style of the buildings we saw in the city. Does it? look like the palm of a huge hand to you? If Kokolia threatens us by taking Branya hostage... 
We have to save her. The underworld. No. The entire planet relies on her. Oh shit. Oh shit. Fuzzy music. No. Do not resist, Branya. Accept the common will. Uh, no, thank you. No! I... I don't want this. Look upon their promised future, Branya! A world without poverty, without cold, without suffering. A world where people no longer have to play She's like prisoners for survival. A world that we can guard for all eternity. Seven hundred years ago, we tried and fought unceasingly, believing that the radiance of human nature could shepherd us towards rejuvenation. <laughs> and to what end? A crushing defeat. Why, when faced with irrefutable strength, is our first thought always to resist? To cover our ears instead of hearing the call. It is the conceit and cowardice entrenched in the depths of human nature. So difficult to efface. Cast them aside. Break free of the chains that bind you. The Celeron will lead humanity to evolve, and they will. Your brainwashing ends here, you witch! Yeah! No more Delulu, Kakolia! Zila? You came. I thought the blizzards had entombed you. <laughs> you wish. We're not going down before you do. Rania! I don't know what happened between you and them. Even if you explained it to me, I probably wouldn't understand all the crazy details. But there are two things I do know. One, these guys have come through hell to get here, to steal this Celeron thing. And two, do you remember what I said? If anything happened to you, I'd save you. It's like watching a movie. Even if the damage is done, even if you've completely forgotten our promise, then, then I'm just gonna have to knock you out and bring you back myself. We need you. Zila. All of you. <laughs> Finished? I think I've given Fuck you, you long enough to bid farewell. It's time I told you my other reason for bringing you here, Branya. <sighs> I want to witness your choice. Oh my I've told you gosh. all the there are to tell. The deal with the Stellaron, the wish I made to it. There are no more secrets between us. Many years ago, the voice of the Stellaron sounded in my ears for the first time. I was no different from the previous generations of guardians. I withdrew, refused to hear. I was as you are now, bitterly defending the architect's so-called preservation. Oh, my conviction was once steadfast, unparalleled. Until a sudden change arrived and threw everything into chaos. Another choice appeared before me. A subversion of the old order. Excuse me. And the welcoming of a new world. And compared to the illusory, ever more distant preservation, this was so tangible. I have agonized, long agonized over how to convey all this to you. Inevitably, the promise tomorrow will transpire. But if you were not there beside me to watch over that new world, then I would descend into torment, Branya. Enduring torment 
Bro, she's using that voice's tone where to like manipulate her Perhaps and choosing I to be, be on her side. You, outsiders. The pressure you have imposed has at long last compelled me to confront my final weakness. Bronya, throughout your life, I have never forced you to submit to my will. You have always, will always have a choice. As then, so now. Choose, my daughter. You're like, bitch, you stole me. You bought me from the orphanage. I am grateful to you for raising me and for allowing me the privilege of choice. But I... I am sorry, mother. On this, our final occasion, I cannot stand with you. Ooh, ooh. Mm -mm -mm. You say that conceit and cowardice lie in the depths of human nature. <laughs> Perhaps you're right. Desperation sheds light on the darkest recesses of the heart. What about those simply struggling for survival, fighting mm -hmm. for something better? I've witnessed their light on the front lines, in the underworld, in places you have overlooked. Our ancestors built this city. Striving in the bitter snow to prolong our civilization. Even if this world is doomed to fall apart, we should allow humanity to pave the way to its final outcome. Yeah. Not hand over our fate to the seed of ruin. Facts. Facts, printer period. Mother, chosen from among the masses. Our duty is to preserve the world built by humanity. We are not gods. We are not arbiters. You seek to crush human nature underfoot while masquerading as an, as an arbiter and a god. I cannot let you. So, this is your choice. I understand, Bronya. Pity. Such a pity that you will never see that resplendent world. Unable to free yourself from the shackles of your mind. You know what? You were supposed to be the mother of the new world. <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. The fate of this city, of Bellabog, is sealed. Its future will unfold in our hands. And you will become the foundation of the, the Lulu. New world. Why she you must break the old to build the new. The Supreme Guardian commands you. Rise, engine of creation! What the fuck? There's no way in hell. Oh my gosh. I'm putting my music back on. We're we're gonna do everything that we can. Who's the lucky one today? Fights are like gambling. You have to choose when to strike. This is our chance. Ready to lose yourself? This is absolutely crazy. My music. Conquer us all. Ah. <laughs> Scared yet? <laughs> A gift from the stars. Is 
ordained by the stars. Oh, profound secrets of the stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. Luck of the draw. Please, 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 please. <laughs> Looks like victory! Who's the lucky one today? This song's just for you. Keep up. My tempo! That's the Wait for the tiles before you start counting. Let's go. Batter up! Oh shit. We have to stop it. A guest with no manners, huh? <laughs> A gift from the stars. <laughs> Time for the main event. <laughs> Himiko! Hello? Can you see? Because the signal's terrible. Himiko! You finally spared a thought for us. What are you talking about? Well, then I've been up on this thing you the time. You've got quite the trailblazing vision on your hands. So, how does that guy work? Or, importantly, how do you stop him from working? Over to you guys, I guess. Oh shit! Movie. I'm telling you, looks like a movie. Oh. 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 No, thank you. No, thank you. I'm the fine. Celeron's promise is the only hope for this world. Just as it dispelled the antimatter legion 700 years ago, so too will it wipe you from the face of this world. Stay alert. Me? It's just me? What the hell? Rules are made to be broken. You don't say you're welcome. Let's make it quick. Let's go. Better up. <laughs> Humanity. So Excuse weak me. and foolish. Always overestimating their <clears throat> abilities. Sorry. Let me bestow upon you despair. I better not. I'm not dead. Is this... 
the universe? But I was fighting Kokolia. Why am I here? Yeah, why am I here, bro? The last time I came here, I drew Nanook's gaze. Could it be? Find a way to escape this strange space and return to reality. Oh, follow. The commercial district has fallen. We've transferred the residents to the outer municipal district for the time being. The garrison lost 26 fighters. But I... Go on, Jepard. I... I'm not sure that they're dead. I saw their broken figures lingering in the fragmentum. What happened back there defied all reason. It was madness. Madam Guardian, if this continues... I know well the consequences, Jepard. You may leave. Oh, I hate the voice, bro. Why do you hesitate, Kakolia? Isn't this what you've always been hoping for? Get out of this cage and take a look at the city. What is there to lose? of our predecessors their unfinished research we can finally see them come to fruition give me some soldiers and i'll locate the stellaron and find out how to save our world you need to come to your senses servo come to my senses what are you guards miss serval is tired Take her to rest. Sequester her lab and detain the researchers. Their work is illegal. Why, Kakolia? Why have you grown so cold? Because of the Stellarome. Serval Landau. You were my most cherished friend. That's crazy. Crazy. No place for her own friend. Madam Kakolia, the monsters are surging this way. It's too dangerous here. <sighs> Foolish. Weak. What? Madam, what are you saying? Only I, only I can understand. They have eyes that do not see, ears that do not hear. Oh. Feast on their willful ignorance. Absolve them of their stupidity and fear. Sorry. Understand. The fragmentum corrosion has already spread to the underworld. How will those below ground fend for themselves if we withdraw every guard? The automatons will ensure their safety. The most important defensive position is here on the surface. If our lines crumble, the underground will vanish in an instant. Our defenses here must be maintained at all costs. These are the choices we make, Branya. As a leader, you must harbor the courage and foresight to choose. You, me, and every Silver Main Guard in the city, all of us must carry out a higher mission. There will come a day when you must make your own choice. Do you understand? A higher mission? <laughs> it is too early, Branya. Still too early. 
You will understand when the time is right. Hmm. Is that? The city is drowning in tears. The power of the preservation is fading. We could not defy the will of the Stellaron after all. This is not what preservation would have wanted. Ah, a believer, I see. Yeah. The fragmentum had been expanding for the past seven hundred years. There is no faith nor wealth left for our successors. Only Then let's let others carry on the will of preservation. You. Uh huh. What about me? So pretty. That is so pretty. Oh yeah. I'm having chills. We will go bravely. Walking hand in hand into the darkness. No, that end won't come to pass while we're around. <gasps> Legit chills. Stay alert. An ally an ally is currently being locked on. Please use the internet skill. The new skill can taunt enemies and draw attacks from Kukolia. Defend the weak. I don't remember inviting you. Oh my god. Who's the lucky one today? Happy three years, buddy. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have legit chills. Ah! 
I love it when games incorporate music like really good. Oh, me! Oh my god! Oh my god! Magma will is accumulated when engine is attacked. Consume four stacks of magma will to use enhanced basic attack. A guest with no manners, huh? Let's do bats. A gift from the stars. Everything is ordained by the star. Oh, profound secrets of the stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. Pretty good crowd today. The engine of creation is activated. Use it to destroy lands of the eternal freeze. Time to go. An ally target's action can charge the engine of creation to unleash preservation's creation wrap. Go on the offensive. That is so cool. Oh, I see. I forgot about the two. Shit. Time for the The power of the Stellaron is with me. You are but cinders of the old world, soon to become ashes. I need the song. Oh, shit. Everything is ordained by the stars. Oh, profound secrets of the stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. The only 
I'm never gonna get tired of seeing this. Bronya. Oh my gosh. Got the Borealis lights though. to cry <laughs> wow that was a tough trailblazing expedition we made it but uh what are we gonna do with the stellaron it's usually mr yang who handles it i've informed himiko and mr yang already they'll seal the stellaron nice the crisis on this world is basically over right The storm still rages on. Now that the Stellaron is sealed, the Eternal Freeze will slowly recede. The Fragmentum won't aggressively expand anymore, but nor will it disappear. Eurelo 6 has a chance to return to life, but it will take time. <laughs> it will depend on the efforts of the people here. Thank you. All of you. Don't be too hard on yourself. Thank you. I'm I'm fine. Girl, I'm gonna cry for you. There is still much to do. The people will have felt the effects of the engine of creation. There are so many questions to answer, so many truths to reveal. I don't know whether I can get the people to accept all this. Tell everyone the truth. Can I really do that? Tell everyone about Mother's true motives? About a lie perpetrated for 700 years? No. No. No way. Huh? Sila. What? I... I don't know how to explain it, but I don't think there's any other way. Not the violin playing. The world and tell the kids things will be better tomorrow. Everyone knows it's a lie, but it gets them to sleep with some hope. Can you imagine the consequences if we told the people what happened here? They'd be devastated. If we can't trust the guardians. Who or what can we trust? <sighs> Mother died to preserve Balaba. What? The visitors from beyond the sky told her the secret of the Stellaron. She knew that Alyssa Rand, the first Supreme Guardian, had failed to destroy it. And yet, she decided to challenge its power. A power beyond human comprehension. Supreme Guardian Kokolia sacrificed herself to dispel the dark clouds enveloping this city. 
From here on out, that's the truth the world will hear. What do you think? It keeps the hope of preservation alive, at least. It's logical, and hard to disprove. Why do we have to lie? I'm abstaining. I like telling the truth. But I get what you're trying to do. Um, agreed. Let's use his version. Thank you for understanding. Yeah, what the... For many people, Mother was an outstanding guardian. The whole truth will live on in my mind. All the mistakes. Madness, evil. Dreams therein. I will be the one to carry that burden. Now, I must take over the duties of the Supreme Guardian. And discard my naive fantasies. I'm sorry, Seal. Please, protect this secret with me. Till the end of our lives. Say no more. I know what to do. Why does this sound like a marriage pact to me? Well then, as promised, let's start rebuilding the bridge between the overworld and the underworld. Sila, can you tell everyone in the underworld that the Stellaron has been sealed? And tell them the blockade will soon be over. And they will breathe freely again soon. Of course. Leave it to me. Nat's probably getting anxious about the delay. While you do that, I'll head back to the... Administrative district. I need to tell Jabbar to... Serve... Huh. Are you okay? What's wrong, Branya? Do you feel sick? I'm... I'm fine. I need to... I need to hurry. She's exhausted. Quick, we need to think of something. Uh, you, help me out here. We'll go to the underworld and pass on the message. Right. I almost forgot. You're still wanted by the guards. I might be an underworlder, but at least I don't stand out as much as you guys. Let's settle then. I'll leave not to you. Remember to keep the secret. For Brun... No. For Bellabog's sake. So, wanna tell us what happened back there? Don't think you can just reappear on the battlefield with a cool weapon in your hands and skip the story. I saw Clopoth. The preservation. Uh, you drew the Amber Lord's gaze? Right at that moment? That's too much of a coincidence. She probably doesn't know what happened either. This wouldn't be the first time. Something similar happened when we faced the Doomsday Beast on the space station. Remember that glance from Nanook? Originally, we thought it was because the Stellaron was linked to the destruction. But now it seems to be more than that. We might need to speak with Mr. Yang to understand what's going on. Let's focus on the business at hand first. We shouldn't disrupt Himiko and Mr. Yang while they're dealing with the Stellaron. Let's talk once we're back on the Express. Mm, you're right. We need to finish what we started. Let's hurry up and find Natasha. Tread on a brand new path. Preservation. Everyone turn face. Open the character screen to change their path. Whoa! You can switch between unlock paths freely. Hmm? Hmm? Noise. 
That's so crazy. I can't tell Dean anything. She has to need to win on this spot. Let's go tell Natasha. Look, there's a big crowd around the clinic. Do you think they felt the effects of the battle just now? Let's go ask around. Natasha, Oleg, hope you didn't have to wait too long. Oh, it's them. You kids move fast. By the look on your faces, I assume you come bearing good news. Mm-hmm, you bet. You might not believe this, but we summoned up all our strength, and then... <laughs> uh, maybe she should do the talking. I'm no good at serious stuff. I'll probably say something I'll regret. The Guardian sacrificed herself to seal the Stellaron. We were there at the fight. We witnessed everything. Sacrificed herself, huh? Sure, yeah, that's the whole story. <sighs> Krakolia. In order to save Bellabog, she... <sighs> I see. So the massive tremors we felt earlier were a result of the battle, right? Yeah. Yes. It was a hard-won victory. Thank you. I can't even imagine what you've been through up there. I'm just glad everything turned out all right. Oh, what about Zila? Don't worry, she's all right. It took a big toll on Branya, so Zila took her over to the guards. Oh, good. I'm so glad you're all okay. Now that Kokolia is no more, I guess our Silvermane girl is about to become the next Supreme Guardian? Yep. Hmm. She sees things through, and doesn't go back on her word. The Underworld will thrive again under her watch. Mm-hmm. Oh, we brought you a message from Branya. <clears throat> the blockade will soon be lifted. The people of the Underworld will breathe freely. Breathe freely. <laughs> That's been our wish all along. March, Don Hung, and you, can I ask for your help again? I want to get this news out to everyone. It'll lift their spirits and bring them hope. Can I say? Thank you. Choose whoever you like. Wildfire will take care of the rest. Ooh. We've gotten to know a lot of Underworlders. Who do you think we should start with? Let's start with Hook and the Moles. Give the children a little bit of hope, you know? Hmm, roger that. You can leave the rest to us. If everything goes smoothly... <laughs> this should be Wildfire's final mission. That's crazy. Those kids better not have taken advantage of the chaos to go on an expedition. Oh, I hope not. Please, I hope not. These children? Mmm, <laughs> there's something else. 48? 49? 50? you you ran all the way out here just to play hide and seek it's too dangerous uh, miss march <laughs> <laughs> didn't you go back to the surface <laughs> since when did i become miss march 
And where's Hook and the others? Come on, call them over. Oh, we just started playing. Can't we finish this round first? Say no more. This is gonna be easy. <laughs> Season pros, I see. Hey, it wasn't like I wanted to play. The kids forced us to. Uh, actually, I sort of want to go play on the swings for a while. I'll leave the seeking to you I'm guys. <laughs> Grown ups. So he is a scaredy cat. I know he'd get someone else to talk to me. Huh. Well, that explains sort of want to go on, go play on the swings for a while. You should be happy it's us and not Natasha. If she had found you, you'd be in big trouble already. Facts. Mm, I guess so. Anyway, I'm gonna go find Julian. <laughs> Wait, look at this. Oh my goodness. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Ah, uh, Bixis, have you abandoned me? Ah, uh, is someone out there? Outside the window? Ah, uh, I can't see. Please forgive my rudeness. Stranger, have you seen a girl around? Her voice is soft and kind as she wears a headband with a bell. The bell chimes with crisp clarity. It's a joy to hear. That person is my older sister. She has been out for a while and hasn't come home yet. She told me she was going to some place called the Fragmentum, that she could find something worth selling there. If you see my sister, could you help me tell her to come home quickly? Her younger sister is waiting for her all alone at home. I have not seen your big sister. I understand. Thank you, kind stranger. Big sis, where on earth have you gone? They have to be over there. It's not here.
Where in the world would they be? Oh my god. Hook. <laughs> Got you again. Huh? What, what the heck are you guys doing here? Oh, wait till I get my hands on Julian, that traitor. Where's his integrity? What about your integrity, huh? You brought the other kids out here to Rivet Town, didn't you? I... I did not! The mole told a vote on all our expedition destinations. Gather your minions, Hook. We got exciting news. Fine, I will. But it better be exciting. Okay, okay. That's enough of that. Let's go and find Julian. Hide and seek update. Astral Express Crew 2, the Mole Zero. <laughs> Celebrate while you can. Hide and seek is best at five, you know. Anyway, enough about hide and seek. We came all this way to tell the mole something, so spit it out. <laughs> do you want to do the honors? I guess. Telling the moles about the victory. Oh. Oh. Uh huh. What's wrong? Why aren't you saying anything? Hook, Julian. I wasn't expecting this reaction. Uh. <laughs> hey! Go away your tears, Julian! You're second in command. No crying in front of grown-ups! <laughs> you three, listen up. Starting from today, you are the mole's number one rivals! Uh. Rivals? Why the heck are we rivals now? What are you talking about? Hook and Julian always wanted to defeat the villains on the surface and take back our homeland. But it <sighs> Children. sounds like you grown-ups just stole their thunder, so... Children. You think we're gonna accept defeat just like that? One day, the moles will be the heroes of the underworld and the overworld. Then everyone will sit and... Uh, sit in dumb. Sit up and take notice? Uh, yeah, sit up and take notice. <laughs> uh, I would have figured it out myself. I need you to remind me. Uh -huh. So that's why you were so silent. Hmm, if you want to be as awesome as us, you better start training every day. And start listening to Natasha. Training every day? Listening to the old witch? Well, that really makes hey, sense don't call Natasha an old witch. <laughs> In that case, deal. <laughs> Julian, Alina, let's run back to the town. Training starts today. <laughs> yes, boss. Understood. Uh, Alina... I can, uh, give you a piggyback if you can't make it. <laughs> Riz. Riz at a young age. New message. At infant, at March 7th, at Belhung, the ceiling of the Celeron is complete and the spatial distortion is dissipating. Good job. We should be back soon. Don't rush. Go at your own pace. The Express will be here before you're ready to leave. Great. I'm craving some juice. Pom Pom still owes me a glass. How is her revival six? Not great, even though the influence of the Celeron has basically subsided. The existing fragmentum is too deeply rooted. The internal freeze has lasted a very long time, enough to severely impact the ecolog ecologi ecology of the planet. In short, the planet probably won't regain the vitality that it once had a thousand years ago in such a short time. Oh, how could this be? Is there anything else we can do? As Trailblazers, our mission has already concluded successfully. The fate of this world should be handed back to its inhabitants. Humankind has always struggled against assured conditions. <laughs> Bro! Cannot, thank you. Thank you. Where was I at? 
Humankind has always struggled against assured conditions and had always managed to thrive in spite of it. Now that the internal freeze is gone, the fragmentum has lost its momentum to expand. Arrival 6 will be revitalized, believe in the perseverance of her people. I detected a high-frequency spatial energy surge in the north of Arrival 6. You might be interested in checking it out. Don't worry, the energy is not related to the Stellaron. It's only an echo left behind after spatial distortions fade away. Inside the echo are perceptions of space and time that we are used to will become radically altered to the point where it might even reconstruct certain scenes from our own past experiences. If you're in the mood and wish to relive those memorable adventures, you can try your looks at places where echoes can be found. Ooh. Oh, Mr. Yang put it nicely, but the reality is this. We sealed the Stellaron, but that's not going to solve the problems on this planet. There True. I was getting excited to tell everyone the good news. We did make a promise. Well, that's the cruelty of a Stellaron. Still, compared with some of the other planets we visited, at least this one has hope. So, should we tell everyone the deal? We should tell Branya when the time's right. Let's not dampen the spirit just yet. Echo of War. Review past memories of battling formidable foes and obtain trace materials and rare light bones. Oh. Return to Natasha. It's getting late. Where to now? Are you hurt? Let me take a look. I hope you're... Of course, even if you get injured by accident, no need to panic. Just leave it to the doctor. Dr. Natasha, we're back. Is everyone all right? Thanks for your help. Are you at any dream? I'm flattered. Now we just have to wait for the official news. I hope Rania doesn't keep us too long. Huh. Do you think Sparog and Clara felt the effects of our battle with the Guardian? I think so. I think they'll be fine. Plus, Sparog's devotion to Clara is even greater than his hostility to Wildfire. <laughs> if you're worried, you could look for them over at the robot settlement. And Fritz is calling. What a shame, what a shame, what a shame. Oh, yeah. What a shame, what a shame, what a shame. I'm a broken town, it's been a town that goes on and on. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it right here and end the stream. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, it's a very special day since I started streaming three years ago. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to go follow all my social medias, check out my wish list and everything, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.